Yes, people, what's happening? Welcome back to the Fuse UK. It's much appreciated as always. Next guest on the show tonight, we've got with us Gary Fox. What's happening, brother? You good? Yeah, sound, mate. How are we doing? I'm all good, mate. How are you feeling? Feeling good, you know, sound. Cushy. Perfect. Good. You're raring to go again already, aren't you? I'm, <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick there. You know me. My strength coach and that's like, no, look, you need two weeks off, you know what I mean? It's fucking doing me head in, to be honest with you. I was down the boxing gym, took me uh, took, took me part for a few rounds on the pads uh, yesterday. And uh, I was fucking itching the train myself. Like, I'm, I'm happy because, you know, my hands and like, all, like, there's no injuries, like, just what would stop me training. They're just like, you know, just on my face, you know what I mean? So that's a good thing. That was one of the worries, you know, you know, yeah. my hands, you know what I mean? And the cushy. So when I am ready to go and... You know, hit it hard just straight away. You know what I mean? Go off the back of that camp. Yeah, definitely, mate. And another thing, obviously, with this camp, was there anything you changed uh, to what you normally do with your having a fighting in a bigger weight than what you're normally fighting? No, just the same, really. But it was there was a few little unknown things, you know, which in my head it was like I, I was going for a fight. You know, like what I would in a fucking car park. I was yeah. going. So I was, this is why I, I didn't bother with the weight cutting out, you know, like, I'm going to do, I'm going to, there are a few things I want to change for the next, you know, like, the lads were cutting weight, like, some of the, one lad I was talking to in the hotel lost 20 pounds, you know what I mean, like, 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 like in the pros, but I was thinking, it's a fucking, it's a bare knuckle fight, it's like, I'm not bothered about what the weight are, you know, if someone's in the argument, I'm, I'm not going to tell what weight, what weight are you, I'm going to go and fucking fight them, you know what I mean, and I, it wasn't about that, but, I didn't quite get the fight I wanted, you know what I mean? I wanted someone to stand and have a fucking go, and it didn't really happen. I found yeah. that, found that not being corners in the ring, I found that, you know, he kept slipping away, you know, yeah. uh, I found that a little bit hard to get a grip of. A few things that I can add, you know, and um, seven years out of the ring as well, so there was always, in the, I didn't say nothing, no one, but in the back of my head, like, thinking, I've was, I was still got it, I can't, you know, little doubts, can, can I still take a shot the same, you know, seven years out. And I think I've, I've ticked them boxes, you know what I mean? So, I'm, I, in all fairness, it should give me more fire. You know, like, the things I can, I, can, I can add and change. Also, my pro coach, you know, he was busy with Tommy Ward for a world title eliminator. Um, I didn't want to bother him too much. I'd done a couple of little pads with him, but obviously I didn't want to bother his camp. And he's had a few things to say where, you know, I think he's going to get involved with my training camp next time, you know, a few a little bit. Yeah. And it was, it was a big miss, you know what I mean? There, Because, obviously... He's not just, you know what I mean, like a coach, he's like, he's a, he's like a life, you know, he's a little bit like a father figure to me, you know what I mean, and there was, the, like, now he's had a little bit of input since the fight, I think he's going to have a little bit to do with me training for, for, for the future, you know what I mean, the, the few things where I know I can, I can, now I've been, another, I'm just happy I've been in, I, I'm over the moon, I got, I, got, I got a few things I wanted, there was blood, there was fucking, you know, I, I, I really crave that, that's what I like, I just didn't quite get the, Standing and fucking having, even after, even I took after I took that count, I was still going fucking come on. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wish he was just standing, have a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? That's what I went yeah. for for a fight, and I didn't quite get the fight I wanted. Fair play to him, take me out of from the the lab box out of his skin. Yeah, the videos I seen of him, he looked poor in my eyes. That's why I I asked that. Okay, I'll just, but he wasn't. He wasn't poor. He was a lot better than poor. Try to take me out after him. Another yeah. thing as well, you know, on the day of the weigh-in. The public way in, he, he went, he went, all right, mate. And, and I ignored him, do you know what I mean? But I hope he doesn't take that at heart. But it's just the way I am. I can't speak to people before I fight, do you know what I mean? I, I respect who I fight always. Yeah. I can't really speak to them before. I've got that, you know, you know, handshakes and that before a fight's not me, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, so, you know? Like, so just, like I, I hope he doesn't, you know, it's just obviously, it's just like you're going for a fight, you can't really shake hands before, can you? Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's, it's different before the fight, and it's obviously you're yeah. in that fight zone where you're going to be taking yeah. each other off in the ring. Do you know like, what I mean? I mean, I noticed it as well. Like you know, it was a bad time to notice. Like, but fucking, you know, when we got in the ring, when we when I got into the ring, and he was facing his he was facing his coach, and I was, you know, he, and I just noticed the size. I thought, fuck me. Yeah. Fucking, I know it's late, a bit late to think. Fucking look at the size of him. But obviously, I don't give. I'm not going to give a fuck. You know what I mean? It, it didn't face me in any way. Um. I thought with the size difference he might have standard and had a had a bit of a go more, but he stuck to the game plan and it won him the fight. You know what I mean? So he's taking that after him. You know what I mean? But like I said, I, I've always said and I always will say. You know what I mean? Anyone who ever beats me in the ring, I'll beat them outside. You know, outside there wouldn't have been an end bell, would there? But I kept on going. You know what I mean? 
hundred percent. And what did you think of the uh, whole BKFC production? I loved it. I loved it. I've loved it. The, how professional it was. I loved. Do you know what? The changing room, the way the lads were in, like you know, all all the lads. It was as if it was like a blue blue team versus the red, the red raw. Like yeah. you know, it was it was just back. It brought me back to the. You know, I've been a big miss in my life. Seven years I've been out the ring. You know, I looked on boxer. It's been seven years. Um, and I, I got I got I got I got it all back. I'm back. Like you know, I could have been a lot worse. I mean, I could have been put to sleep like some of the other fighters, and I would wonder where where would I be now? I'll be thinking. I'll be questioning whether I'm even getting in the ring again. Do you know what I mean? So that hasn't happened. You know, and I'm, I'm going to do a proper weight cut. I know I'm going to fight at about 10 and a half stone now, more my weight. You know, I'm going to do what the others do. But I just thought I'm going for a fight here. It doesn't really matter. Do you know, I thought I'm just going to take that side of it. There's two sort of things you're doing when you're fighting, like back in the pros. You sort of fighting to make weight, then you've got the fight as well. I thought this yeah. is just a fight. Fuck the weight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it did It did tell a bit, you know, what, like, you know, it. it, it it did tell a bit, you know. If it was a stand fight, I don't know, shouldn't have a fight. It would have yeah. been. It would have been. It could. It could have been a lot more. It could have been a lot worse for me. In in all fairness, so, well, that's made me think, right? And and looking at the results of other fighters, you know, I took my daughter there, fifteen year old. I don't think I'll take it or another because, like, you know, anything can happen, and it's it's brutal, really, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I heard a screaming for you in the in yeah. the crowd. It must be nerve-wracking for yeah. them. Yeah, it's just a bit of blood, and but it's just one of them where like. I was saying, look at these, these things happen. You know, it's a fucking, it's a fucking cut. Yeah. I mean, it would have been, like, and that's what made me think. I mean, like you know, just the results of other fights, people getting like completely sparkled. You know what I mean? I mean, I shouldn't really be putting my daughter in a position where that's possible to be happening. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, some of the other lads' faces on the night. Yeah, there was, like I said, I, I'm, I'm sick. I, I had to get. They, they, they couldn't sort the 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 they, they couldn't stitch it with it being so deep. Um, yeah. So they had to. Just, Moved me straight off from the show straight off, but I was fucking sick. I missed, I missed the, you know, because I took a hundred people as well down to London. So I, I was wanting to sort. Of, and some of them people I didn't know; they're just friends of friends, and I wanted to sort of, you know, sort of like thank them all for coming. Which, I, which, I, like, I do thank them all for coming. It, it's a long way. You, you think I mean, like, all ninety pound tickets. Uh, then there's a travel, maybe it's hundred pound. The hotel, they're all spending maybe the best part of five hundred pound plus. You know what I mean? Fifty and for this. 100 people, like, you know, it's a, it's a lot of money being spent just to come and fucking, you know what I mean? Watch me fucking, <laughs> you know, it's, it's uh, so I like to thank them all, but next show in Newcastle, and uh, I think there's uh, there's a lot more, a lot more being in touch, and uh, I think I'm going to do a, do a queer amount of tickets for that. I'm going to promote this one a little bit more where I was just sort of keeping quiet last time, because I thought, fuck, I'm not going to start giving it the big end, you know, like, I'll just let let me get out and have a fight first. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know a lot of people from Middlesbrough, like a few lads who I know. I'll come down and got tickets off you, like. Yeah, yeah. There's like you said, there's a hundred tickets. I mean, a hundred tickets. I think um, somebody there's two. I got two back. I end up just paying for the tickets. You know, like when when I done them, when I done them, and a few. I ended up, but two got sent back. So two 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 got left. So there's nine. There was 98 people went to London. I mean, and it's, London, it's a five hour trip. It's like taking the fuckers abroad, really, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> so, and, and, and it's something new for everybody. And, um, you know, a few tuned in and stuff. So, I, I, I'll, 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 do a, I'll, do a, I'll do a hell of a lot of tickets for Newcastle. Like, did, did you like, get in the room when, like, before you got, uh, before you had the fight, like, on the way in there? Did you ever move about in the ring? Did you know that the ropes were like steel? Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. And it was, um, I, I I have I have wish I just wore a pair, a pair of trainers as well, you know, like like but just to take the boxing away from it. It's not a boxing fight. Yeah, some people do. Fairness as well. He made it a bit of a boxing fight, which played against me. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's like that's. I would love to. I would love the ring to have been square. I think there'd be a lot more violent if the rings were square because giving people the opportunity to really, you know what I mean? Yeah. To, you know, it doesn't give them the opportunity to slip away, but. 90% of the fighters don't like to move to the... But he stuck to a game plan. I mean, you know, he, and it worked. So, f take me out after him. And he's a lot better boxing than where I had him down for. You know? Yeah. I had him on the podcast yesterday and he said that that was the plan, like, not a stand yeah. and with you to, uh, to move about. I uh, said he was speaking. He must have been sat near some of the uh, of his supporters and, and, and even all them knew. So, it must have been common knowledge for them lot, you know, like, he's not going to, you know, stand and have a fight, really. But... Um, 
It's just, I don't know, like, um, I thought BK, B, BKFC was fucking, you've got to yeah. stand and have a fight, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I, that's why I wasn't really too fussed about the weight and that. I thought, listen, we just, we haven't it out and I'll, and I'll fight anybody anyway, do you know what I mean? Uh, but it's just all a learning curve. And I mean, I've ticked the boxes in, my hands are fucking brilliant, they're perfect. I was, it was a big worry, do you know, when they were about more fights, I thought, am I going to have many? I thought, am I just going to, is this going to be the finishing to get out my system, like, you know, am I going to bust my hands up and fucking need operations and would it even happen again in my head? These little things are going through my head, but them are the things what everything's good. I could, I, you know, I, I'm having a cold to, stick, to have a rest now and it's fucking, it's sickening us really, do you know what I mean? Because I want to get back in and get back. That life um, in camp, is a, it's my best life. I, I like it, I love it, do you know what I mean? I love having the, do you know, I, I miss it, you know, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it a lot more now as well with you, like, because you're a legitimate BKFC fighter now, aren't you? You're part of the roster. You've had your I mean, debut out the way. I mean, I, I think I looked on the stack things and I think I took about 40 headshots. So if that doesn't tell me I've still got a chin, nothing will, you know what I mean? And I by, know, way, way above as well, what you're not used to fighting at. Like, it's. Yeah, I mean, it's just what. It's ticked it's tick a few boxes where little doubt in my head what I kept to myself, like, you know, but um, it's. They're they're done. They're 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 away. They're out the window now. Now I'm just all 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 all, all steam ahead. I'm, I'm so, now I'm you know and, and uh, I just I, I, like I say I, I enjoyed it fully. Enjoyed it. I've got a good little. I've got a good set of people about me now. You know, but like that, like me me bet me best is pal in all the world. Uh, Don't be corner. Um, yeah. Great, honestly. Yeah, I love him a bit. He's just fucking there. Uh, and and he's helped me through a lot lots of bad times, you know what I mean? And uh, now I'm now I'm here. And it's like it's just the beginning. Do you get what I mean? What I so in, in my head was thinking a little bit thinking it's just this gonna it's just I was thinking it's coming towards the end and I'm gonna just come and ha have it out, probably bust my hands to bits. I've I mean if you see if you see X rays in my hands, they're full of metal and that, do you know what I mean? And I just thought I'm gonna get it out of my system and this in my head I thought maybe she's maybe gonna have the one. Maybe it's one more, but now I'm thinking, you know, like now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, like f fucking ah, and you're clear, isn't it? yeah, it's it's now, 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 this, you know, I'm not thinking, I'm, I'm on a different mindset than I was where I was before. Now I'm like, I'm, I'm in a better position now than before the fight. If I was just if, if so to say, oh, do you wish the fight never happened? I'd say no, because like not, seven years of the ring's a long time, you know what I mean, yeah, um. Well, it, you know, and I loved, I loved every minute of it. I, I absolutely loved it. I mean, you could even, you didn't see it. I've only, I've only watched the back ones, but you know, you, like even after I touched down, you know what I mean. I, I got buzzed, and I got buzzed, and, and I wasn't. And I went when I went to walk forward. I felt like oh, I thought well, I don't mean nigging as well. Here. Like I, I was a bit like I got buzzed. The shot I could hear the ringing, and I thought, yeah. I thought, listen, I'll get my head together here. And I touched down, and I, I was, I was bang on. You see, I was bang on. By the way, I was still pressing. Yeah. I took more shots than I should have because I was trying to force it as well. Because yeah. I was, I could feel the urgency coming. I was thinking, come on, man, do you know, I was walking under more shots than if he was standing with me, I, I could have slipped, slipped, boom, boom, and we could have had a, a little stay together. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I could have, like, where I could, you know, I forced it. I was, I felt like I was chasing him that little bit and probably walking under more shots. But listen, it's just. I can look back at that fight and I can, you know, I can, there's a few things, there's a few things, if I went out and the fight was a stoppage in seconds, I'd be, I'd be, you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gained what I've, what I've gained from that fight, which I feel, feel I've gained a lot from that fight, do you know, I, I, I feel the way it could like the rest of them, and, I, and do you know, I'm going to add some, a few more things, you know, I, I, I've got some, I've got some good, Good, good people and good, uh, you know, good. I can get good sparring and get like, you know, a few more things where I, where I maybe he's never done. Like I said, Danny, Danny Christie, he's been my sparring partner, you know, sparring partner for his fight, for his fight before this, and then, but that in my head I thought like, it doesn't matter, like, I, you, you, you kind of get better sparring. Do you know what I mean? I mean, like, he's, how how tough is Danny? Do you know what I mean? And I mean, yeah. he's got the height, he's got the weight. And I can trade and mix it up with them. Do you know what I mean? And on my better days, I'm bet I, I, I'm, I'm, out, I'm about doing him. Do you get what I mean? Like, so that puts me in a position where, like, I can mix it with. But I thought basically to spar him with, with anybody. I thought like it's, it's test my body, my chin, and my fitness 
Because I thought, yeah. when you fight, it's like a street fight. They're all yeah. different. You're not going to be like a sparring. You kind of sim, sim, you kind of think, right, I'm fighting him, so I want to spar these type of lads. But yeah. I'm thinking, I think I feel like I do. I do want to add a few bits more. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a few different. I'm gonna I'm gonna try, have a little travel about. You know, like Danny does. You know, um, yeah. And obviously, once we and uh, once we uh, lips right now and spar. Um, I'll be back sparring. I'll, I'll I'll still be doing a few rounds with Danny leading up this fight, but I'll I'll catch him on the back end of his camp and and it'll be a set. You know what I mean? It'll be it'll be, be able to give me a licking. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yeah. It'll be red hot. It'll be red hot. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that that show in Leeds. You know, I would have loved to have been on it because you know what I mean. I'm a, I'm at Leeds <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just all it's just all good. It's all nothing but good come from it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just it's just the beginning, mate, and it's just the beginning of your, the start of a new career, mate. Yeah, of course it is. Uh -huh. Um, it's just like I've tested my hands, I've tested my chin, I've got there, I've got out my system, you know. So if I'd have had an injury, you know, like hand injuries and that, the bad, you know, like operate, imagine surgery on my hand, like that you're talking like six months plus out the ring. Do you yeah. get what I mean? Have that. So you know, and and I've got. I've got rid of the, I've got rid of the ring rust. I've got rid of, you know, I've got rid of a few little demons. Where you know, um, and, and I've enjoyed myself. Do you know what I mean? I, I really have. Do you know? But I I would have I would have liked standing a bit more trained, like you know. But but listen, he didn't give me a chance to do that, did he? He was, he was very he was good at what he planned that. You know what I mean? And slipped away, and I couldn't get you. You know what I mean? It was just a bit frustrating, but yeah, one of them things, mate. A lot of things as well, like boxers and that, when they turn over to the BKFC, because it's not in the natural ability to do it, I get that that can clinch and hit in the clinch. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All the clinch work and that. I noticed a lot of people were missing out on that on uh, the night. At London. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, but say, they, these these are all things I can add. You know, I'm, I'm friends with a couple, with a couple of cage fighters. That, uh, one of my good friends, he's, he's fighting... Um, uh, uh, is it next week, does Dave, when Davey's fighting? So, Davey yeah, Davey yeah. Grant is fighting in the UFC. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Friends since we were little boys, you know what I mean? Um, and I, I got myself down his gym a couple of times, but it was, it, you know, it was, it was just gym classes. I was just mixing them, but I, I can add a bit more, maybe a bit more, more one to one with them, you know, like there's things I can just, I've got the contacts and the people about me, and now in the mind, what I'm doing, and I can add, I can add a few. Do you know what I mean? Um, a few, a few things to it. Do you know what I mean? My other good friend is away. Uh, Carl Fawcett. Uh, he, he was a, he's a hard little bastard. He's been away training like fuck. He's been away working, but I've noticed on his Snapchat he's training like fucking. He, he's just messing me earlier on saying he's back. Uh, so you know I can be doing bits with him as well. And do you know th these are things. What now? Now I've got some, now I've got something to to look at and for the yeah. for the life to look at. Things I can that they can add into my games, also along with me, you know, with, with, with Fano and that as well. And like I say, I'm and I, I, and me pal who come and done. I've, I've just got a great team around us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it's just it's all you know. It's all just it's here now, and it, and and I'm and I'm happy. I just can't wait to be to be back training. Do you know what I mean? It's it's sickening as I'm getting told to stay out the gym. To be honest with you, but it's just one of them things you need rest, don't you? Yeah, 100%, mate. And before we wrap it up, mate, is there any sponsors or shout-outs and that you want to give out? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Now, for my sponsors, um, the Merlin Pub in Billingham, um, Skins and Needle, Needles, Middlesbrough, yep. Dixon Electrical Services, Greenways Landscaping, Home Pro UK, Caliponics, James Roofing, and CM Motor Trading. Uh, they're my me, me sponsors, and thank you to all them because, like I said, they, they've get, they've all given us good money, real good yeah. money, and um, and they helped me out this camp. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, so I just focus on the training, not having to be out. You know, just everything's been good. It helped me with my nutrition and all the rest of it. You know what I mean? And there's uh, also um, there's there's a uh, what's it uh, what's it called? Uh, my friend Phil Bromby is called. Northern HV, also, yeah. In there, <laughs> that is all over. They're on the front. They're, they're the two. What's on the arms and that? They, they, like I said, I've got ten sponsors, and um, no. I really appreciate it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll be back. I will be back. Good man. Can't and wait, then, mate. Can't, can't wait. Can't wait myself. Like I said, I'm gonna do a proper weight cut. 
the little things where I, where I feel like there's lots I can add to that. I mean, it, you know, I, 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 I'm, you know, it's, 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 I kind of believe how how well my hands have been and how good my chin is still. And I've never ever doubted my chin, but when seven years out the ring and then getting in, you know, in front of a, taking a hundred people down there, and in the back of my head it was like, I was, you know, like this could, you know, what I mean, this could be the. But I've had the test. 40, 40 yeah. headshots. I think I took you know what I mean. So that's the chin. <laughs> Chin's tested there now, isn't it? Quality, man. But like I say, I, mate, with it, I'm not, with I'm, not, I'm not, I'll not be, I'll not be taking the same shots next time because hopefully they're not, they're not slippery and moving. So I'm not having to rush and force forward. I can stand and slip, slip, pop, pop, slip, slip, pop, pop. You know what I mean? That yeah. was it, you know. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm, um, I'm excited, man. Very excited. Yeah, I got no <laughs> name. Yeah. Wicked mates, so like I say, we'll stay in touch. We talk all the time, mate. So we'll uh, get get some more podcasts and interviews done closer to the time. Yeah, definitely. Hundred percent. Like I said, I don't mind doing them now because before I wasn't. I seen myself as just like you know talking shit. And I haven't even done it. Uh, now I've done it, so I can talk some shit, can't I? You know what I mean? Yeah. We. All right, bro. All right, mate. Speak soon, Foxy lad. See ya, try, mate. Bye bye. Hello, mate. Bye bye. Nice one, people. Make sure, yeah, I'm going to put all Gary Fox's um, social medias and that in the description. So make sure you head over there, give my man a follow, and um, follow his journey in this BKFC league. Got Jake Lindsay on next, people, so stay tuned. I'll be back in a minute.